Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm gonna be making a dark UK drill beat So I know sample drill and melodic drills the wave right now I've been doing a lot of those videos and I think they're sick But at the same time I feel like we all got into drill for that dark gritty sound So I just want to make some kind of greasy piano melody Maybe layer it with a pad and a couple other things So I'm just gonna see what I can make And I won't keep the intro long this time let's just get straight into it Alright cool, so this one's gonna be a bit like a throwback, I'm gonna use a Nexus piano I just create one of those old school dark UK drill melodies Maybe layer it with a pad, find some vocals and then just add some crazy drums So in Nexus we could go to piano and either just use this grand piano here Or something like the Nexus grand piano And before I do anything I'm gonna add half time and set it to four times And I know that's gonna create a mad amount of rumble so I'm just gonna add an EQ And with these old drill piano melodies you can cut quite a lot of the frequencies out so you want to start somewhere around about there, then adjust it if you need to. So yeah, I'm just going to start with those simple chords. And then bring it down one, and everyone should know these type of progressions. Okay, throwbacks already. And then I could take these top ones, bring them down an octave. And now I'm going to add a couple middle notes. Maybe that same one again. I'm bringing them right back here because we've got half time on. So you have to bring the notes back. I'm going to add some more bass notes. Just extend those. I might bring the second one down. Alright, so I'm going to start with this. I'll randomize the velocity a little bit. And then strum them. Copy it. And then I'm going to add something in this section to switch it up. Maybe I could bring this note up as well. There we go. I'm just going to clone this. And then in the second one, I'm going to think of a counter melody. Something kind of simple. And I'm going to use semitones just to create a darker feel. Might repeat that. these over and then maybe three notes at the end I'm gonna try to pitch these up another octave though And I'm going to go into both pianos and I'm just going to bring up the attack a little bit. The attack is basically going to smooth out the beginning of each note. So rather than the note hitting at the maximum volume straight away, it's just going to take a short amount of time for the volume to build up. So if I put it to the extreme, it almost sounds like it's been reversed. Right, but if I bring it just a little bit. I get more drill vibes and I'm going to bring these notes down. I think it's just a bit too high up. bring the mix level right down and then I want to layer the main chords with a pad so I've opened up expand to I'm just gonna copy the chords in there and I don't need to strum these so I'm gonna set it back to line control and a then control and Q just to quantize it again I'm also just getting rid of the bass notes I might not need these middle notes for the top ones either but we'll see how it sounds and just because we're going for dark vibes before I find the pad I'm gonna set half time on it and then add another EQ but this one I want it to fill up more of this space here Even this first part sounds sick, but we'll see what else there is. Yeah, this part actually sounds crazy. 
I might be able to do something with this. I know I said I'd use Expand 2, but I changed my mind. So I'm just adding this filter. Oh, I think there. Alright, so the pad's sounding all right now. The next thing that I'm going to add is this vocal from Vocalize. I think that pad's starting to sound a little bit too alien-like, so I'm going to get rid of some notes. And I think the pad just needs to come down an octave because the piano's got double halftime on and then the pad's just got one, so they shouldn't be clashing. And that saves more room for the vocals. And I kind of like this pad too. I could alternate the two pads or just stack them up. See what they sound like together. I think this vocal chop's gonna sound better actually. Let's try this. Yeah, definitely. And honestly, the melody doesn't really need anything else. I've got the piano, the pad, some vocals on there, plus the counter melody. I knew when I started making this one that I wanted the eight way to be one of the main things. So I'm just gonna start working on the drums now. If I think of anything else to add then, I'll do that later. All right, so for the eight way, I want this pattern to be kind of long. For this one, I think it's going to have to be the grease snare. Actually gonna bring the tempo up maybe to 145 and I just want to add some side chain to that part get some movement Alright, so I've got one pattern in. And I'm actually going to add some delay to this counter snare. Just a little bit though. And I've just copied that counter snare into a second one. Alright, so I've changed the 8 weight to a grittier sounding one. And I was playing around with effect tricks on the 8 weight and it sounds kind of crazy. So I just wanted to add this one here and then one at the end in the reverse section. And then listen to this. Sounds mad. This one fits the vibe better. Alright, I need to add a couple more things. So definitely something like this. Alright, so the 
Deluxe, it sounded hard. Alright, and I think I want to add a rim as well. Then I'm going to copy that first counter snare pattern and then get rid of most of them. I'm gonna add this driller perk. I always just add this like right at the end here. And with the rim that I added, I'm gonna randomize the panning. So I'm gonna set that to bipolar and then just increase it quite a bit. And then just manually change the couple. And then I want to add this shaker to the beginning. So it's just these two, then I'm going to repeat those. So it'll be something like this. So the drums just by themselves sound crazy. Especially with that Fetrix on the eight way. All right, and I feel like I have to add this gunshot. Alright cool, so I think I've got enough right now. I've got some final bits of mixing to do and then I need to arrange everything. I need to do something with that 8 weight pattern because I don't want the full thing playing all the way through. So I'll finish that, arrange everything and then show you the final outcome. Alright so I've finished mixing and arranging the beat and I can't lie this one came out kind of crazy. I think this was a bit of an experimental one especially with Effectrix on the 8 weight. I haven't seen anyone do that before. If you have then let me know but I don't know I haven't seen it before. So yeah I'm just going to play it from the beginning and I'll talk you through it all. So in the intro, I've just got the main piano just to get that dark UK drill feel. And then we come straight into the verse here with a slow build up. And I've just simplified the eight weight pattern. And then the count melody comes in with one of the pads. See, I've just chopped it up a bit. So, just sounding mad. And then in the bridge here, I've just added a sub bass. And I think that's the growler move bass. start just to give it a break and then it comes straight back in so i hope you like the video and i hope you're feeling the beat and yo we're like 2k away from 100k subscribers it's just mad so my question for everyone today is what do you want to see in the giveaway there's going to be the usuals like vsts and drum kits but let me know what stuff you're hoping to see because it's going to be free for everyone to enter as always there'll be roughly three winners that just get generated randomly and yeah i'm kind of putting pressure on myself this time because i know it's the 100k giveaway it has to be my biggest one ever so yeah i want to make it crazy so let me know in the comments what type of stuff you want to see hopefully we get there and yeah i appreciate you all for watching the video once again and i'll see you next time Thank you.